Ordinary Thunderstorms Ordinary thunderstorms are the simplest and most common storm type, the ones people are most familiar with during summer afternoons. They form when warm, moist air rises quickly into the cooler upper atmosphere, condenses into towering cumulonimbus clouds, and releases energy in the form of rain, thunder, and lightning. Typically, these storms have winds below 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour, so people often consider them harmless. They may blow over trees, knock a few branches down, or briefly flood low-lying streets. Yet they shouldn't be underestimated. Lightning strikes alone kill over 2,000 people worldwide every year, while countless others are injured. Flash floods from these storms can sweep away vehicles within minutes, even in urban environments. For instance, in July 2023, what seemed like a simple thunderstorm in New York City overwhelmed drainage systems and caused major subway disruptions, stranding thousands of commuters. This shows that even so-called ordinary thunderstorms can turn daily life upside down if conditions align. Severe thunderstorms When a thunderstorm intensifies, it is reclassified as severe by organizations like the U.S. National Weather Service. A storm earns this label if winds exceed 58 miles per hour, 93 kilometers per hour. Hailstones are larger than one inch in diameter, or if tornadoes develop. Severe thunderstorms are far more destructive than ordinary ones, capable of shattering windows, damaging buildings, and uprooting trees. Hail is one of their most feared aspects. Hailstones as big as golf balls or baseballs can crash through car windshields, destroy crops, and injure people caught outside. In Argentina in 2018, some of the largest hailstones ever recorded, nearly 8 inches across, fell during a single storm, highlighting how extreme these events can be. Severe thunderstorms are also breeding grounds for tornadoes, making them unpredictable and feared. Their combination of strong winds, flooding rain, lightning, and hail make them one of nature's most complete storm threats. Tropical Depressions Tropical depressions are the early stages of tropical cyclones that form over warm ocean waters. They feature sustained winds of up to 38 miles per hour, 61 kilometers per hour, but can cover vast regions with rainfall. While their winds are not especially dangerous, their rainfall often triggers flooding and landslides. In countries like India, Bangladesh, and the Philippines, tropical depressions regularly displace thousands of people and cause widespread agricultural damage. Meteorologists watch these storms closely because they have the potential to intensify rapidly into tropical storms or even full-blown hurricanes. What makes tropical depressions so deceptive is that they often appear harmless at first but can grow stronger within hours if conditions are favorable. Even without strengthening, they have the capacity to bring life-threatening floods, which makes them an important stage in the storm development cycle. Tropical Storms When sustained winds increase to between 39 and 73 miles per hour, 63 to 118 kilometers per hour, a tropical depression is upgraded to a tropical storm. At this point, the system becomes organized enough to be given a name, which makes it easier for meteorologists and the public to track. Tropical storms bring heavier rain, more powerful winds, and wider damage zones than depressions. Streets may flood, power lines may collapse, and trees are often uprooted. A good example is Tropical Storm Allison in 2001. Although it never reached hurricane strength, it dumped unprecedented rainfall on Houston, Texas, flooding highways, destroying property, and causing $9 billion in damages. Allison's impact showed the world that tropical storms can rival hurricanes in terms of financial loss and human disruption. They may not have the headline-grabbing wind speeds of hurricanes, but their ability to paralyze cities with relentless rainfall makes them just as dangerous. Category 1 Hurricanes Category 1 hurricanes are the entry point on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. With winds between 74 and 95 miles per hour, 119 to 153 kilometers per hour, they are capable of stripping shingles from rooftops, tearing down trees, and flooding coastal areas through storm surges. Even though they are considered the weakest hurricanes, their destructive power should never be underestimated. Hurricane Irene in 2011 was a Category 1 storm when it hit the U.S., yet it killed more than 40 people and caused $15 billion in damages. 
The combination of high winds, heavy rain, and surge flooding made it one of the most disruptive weather events of that year. Category 1 storms remind us that hurricanes don't need extreme wind speeds to cause chaos, especially in densely populated coastal regions. Category 2. Hurricanes Category 2 hurricanes, with winds of 96 to 110 miles per hour, 154 to 177 kilometers per hour, are far more destructive. They can rip apart roofs, break windows, and knock out electricity grids for weeks at a time. The storm surge generated at this level often swallows coastal towns, forcing evacuations and displacing thousands. Hurricane Francis in 2004 is a prime example. Making landfall in Florida as a Category 2 storm, Francis brought torrential rains and violent winds that left billions of dollars in damages and left countless homes unlivable. Even when communities prepare in advance, the force of Category 2 storms often leaves scars that take years to heal, both physically and economically. Category 3. Hurricanes – Major Hurricanes When winds reach 111 to 129 miles per hour, 178 to 208 kilometers per hour, hurricanes are classified as major storms. Category 3 hurricanes cause devastating damage, often leveling weaker structures and leaving large areas uninhabitable for weeks or months. One of the most infamous examples is Hurricane Katrina in 2005, which made landfall as a Category 3 storm. Although it wasn't the strongest on record, its storm surge overwhelmed New Orleans' levee system, flooding 80% of the city. Katrina killed over 1,800 people and caused more than $125 billion in damages. Category 3 hurricanes demonstrate how a single storm can reshape the history of a region, leaving both physical and emotional scars that linger for generations. Category 4 – Hurricanes with winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour, 209 to 251 kilometers per hour. Category 4 hurricanes are catastrophic events. Well-built homes may lose entire walls or roofs, mobile homes are obliterated, and most trees are snapped or uprooted. Storm surges at this level can send water 13 to 18 feet inland, flooding cities and rural areas alike. Hurricane Harvey in 2017 struck Texas as a Category 4 storm, dropping more than 50 inches of rain in some places, the wettest tropical cyclone in U.S. history. Neighborhoods turned into lakes, tens of thousands of people needed rescue, and billions in damages left Texas in crisis for years afterward. Category 4 Hurricanes often leave communities with long-term economic challenges that take decades to overcome. Category 5 – Hurricanes Category 5 hurricanes are nature's ultimate storms, with sustained winds of 157 miles per hour. 252 kilometers per hour or greater. These storms cause total destruction, leveling homes, flattening entire towns, and snapping high-rise buildings like twigs. Vehicles are tossed through the air, and coastal areas are drowned under walls of water. Hurricane Dorian in 2019 struck the Bahamas as a Category 5 with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour, making it one of the strongest landfalls ever recorded. It wiped out entire communities, killing hundreds and displacing tens of thousands. Survivors often describe Category 5 hurricanes as apocalyptic experiences. These rare storms are remembered not just as weather events, but as life-changing disasters that alter the course of history in the regions they strike. Super Typhoons In the Pacific Ocean, hurricanes are called typhoons, and when they reach Category 5 strength, they're often referred to as super typhoons. These storms can be even larger than their Atlantic counterparts due to the immense heat energy stored in the Pacific's waters. Super Typhoon Haiyan in 2013 is one of the deadliest storms in modern history, striking the Philippines with winds near 195 miles per hour, 314 kilometers per hour. It killed more than 6,000 people, displaced millions, and triggered a humanitarian crisis that lasted for years. Super typhoons are a reminder that the Pacific Basin produces some of the most powerful storms on Earth, with impacts stretching across entire countries.